Hello, welcome back. In this video we're going to cover the equal T. Again we're going to be using polystyrene and our trusted insulation source. You can see there's no, no teeth, it's just a blade. We also have our safe blades here, our knives, our insulation knives. But for this purpose and exercise they're not a lot of good. So we're going to be using this for shaping, it's a cut off joiner saw, ideal for sculpting equal T's. Right, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to construct a T, and to do that we need a diameter. So if we take, say, 75 mil, so we put 75 mil on the end, like that. And we take the diameter of the section, just measure across it, which is 150 mil. So we put in 150 mil, like that. And again, 75 mil on the end of that. Let's just move that out of the way. Now we cut across there. Marking our diameter. Now, what we need to do is just cut across the diameter. So, if you cut across there, not all the way through, and then we do similarly on the other side, like this. that off. And there is our equal T. We're doing a cold work equal T. So what we need to do is just scoop this piece out here to make our cold work. So we stand up there, we take our saw and we just follow a straight line like that the contour of the equal T to remove the bit we don't need. And the same this side, and just take it up following the contour of the equal to. There. You will notice that when you're using the insulation saw, you don't get any mess. But when you use a conventional saw, you do. So there it is, half of it anyway. And that sits on there perfectly, as you can see with no gaps. Fantastic. So now we'll just do the counterpart to it. We'll just pick that, put that on. No, we just don't do it. So we got 75 mil, 150 mil, and 75 mil. Smart that in. Like that. And we cut across. You see, when you use an insulation saw, there's no mess. Best to use. And then, likewise, again on the other side, you just put straight across the marks you put in and straight through this time. Don't force the saw. Just take your time. Keeping your finger on the side of the saw will help keep the cut straight. So you just cut through. There we go. And we just take off the bit we don't require, which is that. Put that all the way through this time. And there again. We take our cut off saw and we just follow the contour. The contour of this, you see, so you're following that there, 
and that there. So we just follow the contour of that, keeping it straight. And you try to keep as best you can to the contour of the cut all the way through. And similarly up the other side. There we go. You'll notice it's a nice smooth cut. Same on that side. We'll put the two together. Use a fixer tape. And there you have it. Perfect equal to. There you go. As you can see, there are no gaps at all. Ideal for refrigeration, which is mainly what I do. So, enjoy that lads. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and um, like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.